Hi everyone! Welcome to the second episode of the MB Makes Knitting Podcast. This episode will be all about socks because it's Socktober. I just learned to knit socks at the beginning of this year. Um, and after my first pair, I, I knew I was going to make more socks. Um, so I will do a, an overview of all the socks I've knit so far. Um, and then show you some socks I'm still working on. And also um, some sock plans I have for this month. Uh, and probably also the rest of the year. Um, so yeah, let's dive in. My first pair of socks I knit in uh, January um, are the Sunday Socks by Petite Knit. I have a pair. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, these were a really great, great beginner project. Um, because they are a DK weight sock, so it's really good to practice, to learn the techniques about sock knitting um, because it's quite small circumference and then yeah the heel, I'd, I'd never done that before um, and also the toes, so um, yeah it was a great first sock pattern uh, the yarn I've used is um, Merino Extra Fine uh, by Drops. Um, yeah, it's it's really soft yarn. Um, maybe I've used uh, a needle size that was just a bit too big. Um, so yeah, they were a great first sock pattern. Um, I don't really wear these because there's a li little mistakes in them. Um, and they're a bit too big um, so I'm making a new pair um, with the same yarn uh, but different color and I'm knitting these in small circumference needles the other ones I uh, knit magic loop um, but this time I wanted to try small circumference needles. Uh, these are the 3mm needles. Um, so I've sized down a bit because I know they really start stretch out because they're ripped socks. Um, yeah, but I've only just started. But these go really fast so I will have a pair quite soon I think. And I'm also using this nice stitch marker. Um, by Ginger and Time. Um, so yeah, uh, that's I think the first uh, sock pattern, uh, the Sunday socks by Petite Knit. Um, then the second pair of socks I made uh, was also at the beginning of the year um, and it was also um, a test knit. Um, and these are the Rosalind socks. And I've knit them uh, with uh, Drops Fable. Um, it's like a, a variegated uh, yarn, self patterning, self striping yarn. Um, so you, you can't really see a lot of the details. It's like a broken rib stitch. Um, but I really do like these. Uh, they fit me really well. Oh, I forgot to mention, um, I have really small feet. I have a 35, 36 um, European size. Um, so I don't need a lot of yarn. I mostly need uh, the smallest size uh, in the pattern. Um, smallest adult size. Um, so these, these fit me great. Uh, it's really lovely. Um, yeah, and I, I think I will make the pattern again. Um, 
but in like a, a less patterned yarn, like a, just one solid color to make the, the details pop a little bit more. Uh, but really nice socks. Then um, we were getting a little bit closer to the end of um, springtime. So I wanted to make uh, shorty socks. And uh, so I've used the everyday sock pattern by Petite Knit. Um, okay, you have this really nice heel. The, normally the everyday sock pattern is with long leg, but I just knit shorter cuff. Um, and then the heel and foot. This yarn is a BC yarn by Borro de Pazzi. And uh, it's really nice, uh, really soft. Um, so I have a pair of these. Then I was still in shorty sock mode. Um, so I've knit another pair of simple shorty socks. Um, with the everyday sock pattern by Petite Knit. This time with a, a self-striping yarn. Um, the uh, Scapius Downtown. These, this yarn is just so soft. Really so soft. So these socks are, are great um, to wear at home. They're so cozy. Um, yeah, really love them. And... I made another pair with another other colorway, but same yarn. Um, I've made the cuff a little bit higher on this one. Here, it's a bit shorter. But yeah, great socks, really soft. Love them. Um, and then the next pair uh, was another test knit. Uh, so in my first year of sock knitting, I've already done two uh, sock test knits. Um, which isn't all too bad, I think. Uh, these are the Dandelion Mind Shorty Socks by House of Budlea. These are really cute shorty socks with a new flap and gusset. And this cute mohair ruffle. Which is really a statement for this sock. Um, still need to weave in some ends on the second one. <laughs> um, so I haven't worn them yet. Uh, it was too hot. Uh, but I think as the weather is getting cooler. I will weave in these ends today. and um, So I can wear them. Um, but the fit of these socks is also great. They fit my foot really nice really snug um, and they're just great cute shorty socks um, so yeah oh um forgot to mention uh, the yarn I've used for this is uh, Lana Grossa uh, Melonweit and Drops Kit Silk for the mohair ruffle um, so it's a self striping uh, for this and then uh, just a solid color for the toes and heel and cuff. Um, yeah, it's really nice, good quality. Um, don't know how they wear yet, um, but I will let you know in a, another podcast soon. I have one other sock, and that's this one. It's also another everyday sock uh, with simple heel. Shorty sock, double ribbing. Um, I haven't made a second one of this yet. I don't know why. I think I forgot. <laughs> um, so I will cast that on and, and finish this uh, as well. So I can wear the pair. Um, yeah. And then on to um, my whips. I've showed these in the last podcast. Um, so these are the London Fox Socks. With uh, hand-dyed 
Merino Sock Yarn by Ginger and Thyme. Um, first one I finished and the second one is nearly done. I have a bit of the foot to go and then I can do the toe. Um, it's really lovely with this cable going down the sock. Um, yeah, I will finish these soon as well um, so I can wear them. And of course, cast on something new. Um, and then another in between project. It's like a really cute tiny sock. Um, I'm making these for uh, my colleague who's pregnant with a baby girl. Uh, she's due in January uh, of next year. So, um, yeah, I want to make these as a gift for her. Uh, the first one is finished. Uh, second one, I've just done the heel. So I still need to do uh, gusset decreases and then foot and the toe, but yeah, they're so small. I can really uh, finish these uh, fast, I think. Uh, it's like a cute ripped sock. So they, they stretch out quite a bit, uh, which is perfect. I hope they fit. <laughs> if not, they make cute decorations, I think. Um, to just have, um, yeah, as a memory. Maybe something else I will say is uh, I knit most of my socks Magic Loop. Um, because I that was the first... Uh, time I made them I also use magic loop and I'm used to it now um, but I just as I showed earlier with the Sunday socks trying to knit uh, with short circulars um, and up till now I like it so maybe um, I will knit more on short circulars in the future I got myself some 2.5 ones uh, I think I will use these to cast on my um, next pair of socks um, which I will make with um, some more ginger and thyme hand dyed yarn in this really yeah fall color um, it's 80% uh, merino 20% nylon and the colorway is called old pink um, yeah it's a really lovely color and I think I will make um, biscuit socks with this one. It's a free pattern I found. Um, I've also uh, linked it in um, an Instagram guide I made with uh, sock inspiration for uh, October. So go and check that out if you're interested. Um, it's a free pattern. So and um, but I will make it with this fingering weight yarn and not in DK weight. Um, but I will go up a size in the pattern, um, so do a normal um, 60 stitch um, sock. And yeah, I hope this will turn out, turn out um, lovely. So these are the needles I mostly use for Magic Loop. It's really nice because they have like every part is two centimeters uh, so it's nice uh, you can use them to measure things as well when you don't have uh, yeah, something else to measure um, and I also have some more um, Lana Grossa Melonweit in a different colorway uh, like the Dandelion Mind Shorty socks I made um, this is also Lana Grossa Um So I think these will make another lovely pair. Um, maybe without the ruffle this time. Uh, don't know yet. Um, because yeah, the ruffle was really a struggle for me. But it's so cute. So yeah, we'll see. Something else I would like to try this year is knitting uh, colorwork socks. 
Um, I've never knit color work in general, um, but I would like to try it on socks because yeah, they're small. So I think uh, that would be great to try it. And I have some yarn already in stash I can use for that. Um, don't know yet what pattern or how many colors, but I have some Mennonite from Managossa. Um, these colors are really pretty. Yeah, fall colors, cozy colors, uh, really warm. Um, so yeah, I'll be on the lookout for a pattern. If you have any suggestions, drop them down in the comments below. Um, so yeah, I think uh, that's it for today. I hope you liked it uh, and I gave you some inspiration to try knit socks yourself for the first time if you haven't done so before because it's really not as scary uh, as I thought in the beginning so really go give it a try if you haven't yet and um, check out uh, the guide I made on Instagram uh, for some uh, fall sock inspiration and I hope to see you all next time bye <laughs>